I left Kentucky back in 49 and went to Detroit working on assembly line. The first year they had me putting wheels on Cadillacs. Every day I'd watch them beauties roll by and sometimes I'd hang my head and cry cause I always wanted me one that was long and black. One day I devised myself a plan that should be the envy of most any man. I'd sneak it out of there in the lunchbox in my hand. Now getting caught meant getting fired, but I figured I'd have it all by the time I retired. I'd have me a car worth at least a hundred grand. In his famous song, One Piece at a Time, Johnny Cash sings about an assembly line worker at General Motors who slowly steals enough parts from the factory to finally build a car of his own. Released in 1976, Rice points out that Cash's tale reflected a systemic reality for many blue-collar workers at the time, who could only dream to be a consumer of the luxury they helped to create. Rice claims, Those that searched out success and fortune in Woodward Avenue's automobile plants found themselves replicated in the very machines they worked on. The conflation of categories such as worker, citizen, and automobile worked to form the topos of Detroit as a city perpetually stuck in an assembly line logic. In part, this topos claims that success for Detroit is just within arm's reach, but the city can never quite pull it all together. Much like the protagonist in Cash's song, Detroit is left with the refuse of capitalist output, putting together its identity as a city piece by piece. Definitely wrong. The transmission was a 53, and the motor turned out to be a 73. And when we tried to put in the bolts, all the holes were gone. So we drilled it out. Other cultural images of Detroit depict it as a city of resilience and perseverance. Chrysler's iconic "Imported from Detroit" commercial features a cameo in music from local hip hop artist Eminem, and it builds on the narrative of Detroit as a city on the rise with success just around the next corner. Chrysler's 2011 commercial, See It Through, features images of Detroit with voiceover narration by Edgar Albert Guest, the poet laureate of Michigan. As a Chrysler 300 drives through the streets, Guest provides inspirational voiceovers from his poem, to See It Through. To dodge it. Do the best that you can do. You may fail, but you may conquer. See it through. Even hope may seem but futile when with troubles you're beset. But remember, you are facing just what other men have met. You may fail. In these representations, Detroit is depicted as a socially and economically diverse population, all tied to the contradictory image of the car, as a symbol of luxury and decadence on the one hand, and working class values and economic instability on the other. <laughs> 